Hi everyone, here's what's bothering me today. We're going back into Afghanistan, aren't we? Want to stress right off the top here, this is not a conspiracy theory video. I'm not trying to do, you know, anything like that. Just bear with me for a few minutes here and I'll try and make everything pretty quick. So there were, of course, the confirmed terrorist bombings that killed at least a dozen U.S. soldiers and 90 Afghan civilians. And ISIS-K has claimed responsibility. They claim to be an enemy of both the Taliban and the Americans, because basically if you're ISIS, if you're not enemies with everybody, what's the point, apparently? And so my fear, if you want to call it that, is that... This is kind of the Afghan war's new Gulf of Tonkin incident. Biden has already said, you know, we're going to hunt you down and we're going to make you pay. So what does that entail, Mr. Biden? Well, in order to hunt them down, we need to send a lot more troops and we need to have a permanent station. And oh boy, here we go. More troops in again. This is where it could potentially go. And unfortunately, I feel like this is where a lot of the U.S. media has already tried to prime people because the media has already kind of shown its neoliberal hand here. It was made known to a lot of people relatively recently, Afghanistan sitting on over a trillion dollars worth of rare earth minerals that we need for all the lovely electronics that we have today. Again, showing my age and also how long I've been paying attention to this crap, this was known as far back as 2007. Why now, of all times, after 14 years, are they bringing this back? Again, not trying to be conspiratorial about this. This is pretty, you know, clear-cut. America still trying to save face and accomplish its strategic goals. If the goal is still, you know, we want to conduct evacuations, etc., how much does this new terror attack and Biden's, you know, challenge to ISIS-K saying, we're going to hunt you down, we're going to make you pay. What's the scale of that? What does that look like? What does that entail? And probably behind the scenes, you know, behind closed doors where we're not allowed, they're probably, they being the American establishment, probably quietly freaking out because, oh no, what if Iran gets more influence or China and China's buddy buddy with Pakistan. Oh, this could, this could potentially be a really big problem. And so they're trying to figure out ways to continue to have influence, even if the Taliban are more or less in charge of the country. There's probably a flurry of meetings and documents going back and forth, trying to figure out how they can manage this new development and maintain some level of influence while still trying to remove all influence you see how it's weird but yeah biden saying we're gonna hunt you down and then not actually giving any kind of specifics should be a cause for concern because that is a statement that just allows for mission creep to run away and i can't be the only one thinking this i really really hope that I'm wrong about this and this doesn't turn into an excuse for US forces to expand into a new and like semi-permanent second mission in Afghanistan. I really hope that I'm wrong about that, but the fact that there's a chance that I'm not is definitely what's bothering me today.